Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 20th episode of Kimetsu no Yaiba, and last episode was kind of incredible. I mean, just so much happened of importance, such beautiful animation. Nezuko actually got to do things, although he got hurt, which is not a good thing, of course. But, you know, she she's there for her brother, which she wants to be. That's that's what matters, I guess. Anyway, the point is they were together and they took down that snot-nosed brat that was too big for his britches and took his head off. The fight's hopefully over after that, but they kind of made it seem like it might not be. So I guess we'll see. But yeah, last episode was probably the best episode of the whole show. Just some beautiful stuff. But anyway, let's get into this one and see how this one how this one goes. Three, two, one, play. Yeah, exploding blood. And whoosh, right to the neck. Yeah, you tell him, you tell him, as you cut off his head. Man, that was such a just amazing slice, just, oh, that looks so good. Uh, if only it was blue, the only way it would be better. But, you know, that's just personal preference, it still looks great. I don't think I've ever been so satisfied with a slash in anime before. I can't think of a slash that made me more satisfied. I mean, there may be a stab or something that I'm, I was more satisfied with, but as far as slashes go, that was probably the best. Nezuko. Remember back in that one place when Nezuko was just kind of laying on the floor and being silly, scooting around and stuff? I think it was at the, the Dr. Demon's place, but I just recently saw like a gif of that and just, I love that part so much. Nezuko probably is my favorite female character of the season. I mean, this is a last season show, so I guess I can't say that, but I just, I, I quite like her. She doesn't talk, but I still feel like I understand her pretty well, in spite of that. Pretend family. Yeah, off with his head. That is the face of a... That is the face of a man that was done with dealing with you. You might want to catch her if we can. Oh, okay. That's, I guess that's fine. I guess we weren't in a position to catch her. I sure hope so. I don't want him getting back up. Because you needed to. Thank you, Dad. Well, I can see her. Hopefully we're okay. Did he get poisoned, or is it just like a kickback of using so much power? I'm not sure you're going to heal as quickly as you want to. Took a good amount of damage in this fight. Well, Inosuke was luckily saved by uh, Gyu. Oh, that's probably not good. Oh yeah, that's definitely not good. If he's still around, yeah, of course he's not dead yet. He looks even creepier now without the head. Well, I had hoped. It did for a couple minutes, but thanks for ruining that for me. Uh, and that ruins the slash for me. Thanks a lot. That's certainly an interesting strategy. Cut off your own head before your opponent has a chance to. Can't argue with that logic. 
But we're in we're, 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 we got a problem now. You're welcome. Now Guy will probably show up to help. Mm. Murderous eye basket, is that what that said? Yeah, keep the breathing. This breathing is our biggest asset here. Oh! Starting to hate needles. And there's Giyu. Finally, is he going to help out? It's about time. What, what, what took you so long? He's been trying his best not to die for a while now. Zenitsu wouldn't have that. Yeah, he did a good job. Against the kind of opponent he was up against. That who was but by all accounts out of his league, but he still held it up held it together. Now we have like the highest rank of Demon Slayer here, so he should have this. That's such a cool attack though. But he's not to be outdone. He's got his own cool attacks, I'm sure. Well, it's a calm attack. You probably should, because it's probably going to be the death of you. <laughs> Nani, why did, it, why did it not hurt him? Well, it's, I guess he's just so calm, I couldn't affect him. Not so high and mighty now, are you? I'm starting to realize your position now. Okay. Uh, that was a lot easier than, than Tanjiro's attempt. And that one probably actually worked. I mean, that just... If that doesn't show you the difference in power between him and Tanjiro, I don't know what does. And an episode title drop. Hope you're, hope you're not too proud of yourself. There's him on top of a roof, because why not? It's also probably more powerful than you can deal with. Return be my emoto. That's what I call a deal right there. You know, you should have mentioned the part where you are going to be abusive. That may have. I mean, the end result probably would have been the same, but still. Should be honest in these negotiations. Oh, God. It just kind of evaporated there. Okay. I dealt with that problem. And there's the rest of the family, so welcome aboard our pretend family, I guess. Uh, enjoy your stay. Best you can. She's like, what did I agree to again? Is it too late to change, too late to change my mind? Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba. And Shinobu over there. So you're gonna get your white hair initiation now? I guess Rui is his name. I love her eyes. So demonic, but also pretty cute. 
<sighs> yeah, I think she feels something. Yeah, I just gotta fear him. Uh, how is this helping anything? Uh. Yeah, if only all this, all this should, probably should have been mentioned in the, in the negotiation phase. Congrats, uh, are you happy now? Are you glad you made this choice? One big happy family. Still, he stands out a lot though. Maybe that one should have kept his face on. Clan of a sort of strangers, that's pretty accurate. <sighs> yeah, I don't see this ending well. So how do you even revert back like that to begin with? Well, I don't think anybody would. It's not exactly a pleasant family. Yeah, the point is that none of, none of them are good options. I'll add the others who are definitely Bacchus. <laughs> well, that's sweet, but I don't see that ending well. I don't think running away is something that he's going to allow. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Uh, hey, we were just going for a bit of a stroll. Don't mind us. It's not like we're running away or anything. Okay, really? Ugh. Yeah, nice family. Uh, and the sun comes up. Oh, I guess that the sun might be sweet relief from this family, so. I guess you can look on the bright side. Where would you even go? Yeah, I could just said no, like a normal person. <sighs> yeah, that's when he showed up. It actually is, it's called Kimetsu no Yaiba. Yeah, he's gonna die. 
<laughs> uh, that was unfortunate for you. A ball of yarn. Okay, that got worse. Oh. <laughs> well, you came out of nowhere. <laughs> I might be afraid she could probably easily kill you. If she's the same rank as Gi, which I assume she is, she could very easily kill you. Because you are not as strong as Rui. She is quite cute and playful. I guess not. So was that offer truly on the table? Yeah, that's her out that she uses, of course. <laughs> really? I don't... not sure I believe you. Okay. A lot, probably. Oh, well, it's not too bad. You always have a choice. It's just that that choice was more appealing to you than dying. That's a bit of a jump from five. Yeah, you saw some of that. Anything instead of that? Which is again more than five. Not a bad position to be in, you know, mounted by her. Gotta be better than being part of that pretend family. Uh, you sound less friendly all of a sudden. Still sounds better than being a part of that family. Yeah, I'm sure it wouldn't actually kill her, but it did. And that'd be fun. I guess she didn't like the idea. Don't know why. Gotta be a friend. The negotiations are broken down. I guess not. How unfortunate. Gotta be nice to her and that's what you get. You're not gonna defeat her. I can tell you that right now. Here we go. Oh, uh, it's... Oh, that's beautiful. And that's truly an attack from Butterfly Girl. Is her head gonna fall off in a second? Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have touched that. Yeah, I think she's done for. No, but it's an odd looking sword. <laughs> no. He just don't understand what she did, I guess. Yeah. Your head might be attached, but it doesn't mean you're okay. How do you guys like getting poisoned? I know, right?
Clearly. Wow. Who needs to decapitate demons though when you can just do that? <laughs> I I see. I would consider a dying when she's trying to talk to you. Well, you're should be lucky to be alive. You should feel lucky to be alive. And she's dead over there. Looks like she was in quite a bit of pain when she died, too. Well, that's good. I want to get himself to wear, though. A bit awkward otherwise. I mean, you kind of took, took yeah. Tell me I could deal with him. Hopefully, he doesn't attack Nezuko next. I don't think he will because he knows her, but. Good question. What did he really want in the end from that family? I guess that's a decent line of thinking, but it wasn't a real family, so. Well, I guess that pretty much finishes off this arc, doesn't it? And with the whole with the episode title, I should have figured we would have quite a bit of uh, a backstory flashback, which we did. Are we never going to get rid of her muscle? Like, she doesn't need it. She doesn't attack any humans. I mean, she hasn't really attempted to. Like, for a while. We should at least try taking the muzzle off. I'm sure she'd be a good girl. She wouldn't bite anyone. Not unless they were mean to her first. I see. And it's to see them doing this. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's baby steps. Against corpse rules. I wonder what he's just referring to. Does somebody break the rules and... How are we going to deal with that? Okay. Yeah, that was the 20th episode of Kimetsu no Yaiba. Pretty good episode. Uh, we got to figure out what a, the Ruby's deal was, more or less. We got to see how he went about making the family, and eventually why he made it, to try to get his memories back, you know. I guess it didn't really work out too well, though. Because it wasn't a good family, it just wasn't. Not only was it a fake family, it wasn't, it wasn't even... There's really nothing there. Nobody there really liked each other. You know, just betraying each other and 
just, yeah, it just wasn't a good family. I don't know. And Rui was still alive, apparently. And apparently he just knew his neck was about to get cut, so he just took his head off before he had the chance to. And the head disorder would just slide on by, and they just stuck it back on, as you do. So, yeah, that's that's a thing you can do, I guess. Luckily, luckily, Tomioka Giyu showed up when he did and was able to finish him off. <laughs> but yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a power difference there. He was able to do it so much more easily than Tanjiro. So yeah, good thing he showed up. And we also got to see Shinobu fight, which is great. She's got her poison. She was trying to be all friendly to, to you know, the demon girl, but she didn't like her. She offered a friendship at all. I don't know why. Nobu was so, you know, nice about it, doing her best. Like, of course, you'd have to have some sort of punishment with all the wrong things you've done, but she apparently didn't think that was a good deal, so she made a choice. And her choice ended with her death. But yeah, I do quite like Shinobu. She's a very fun, cute, silly character. She's pretty much completely right up my alley as far as types of girls that I like, so... And of course she's got a nice voice. And her attack with all the butterflies and stuff, it did not disappoint. It did not. But yeah, some of that flashback stuff was pretty hard to watch, just... She has such a horrible family to be a part of. I did love Rui slowly realizing just how much of a power gap there was between him and his opponent there. That was pretty good. And he finally died, so that was the best thing of all. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoki for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.